Ooh, you made cookies! Oh yeah, I'm just trying out a few recipes for my Christmas Cookies for Dummies cookbook. Oh, nothing says Christmas like cookies! What is wrong with these cookies? Nothing. They're for dummies. Here you go. Would you like a little bite there? Yeah? <laughs> I got a little mustache. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. I'm John. And we are slap dab in the middle of Christmas season. And what a glorious season it is. Yeah, it's time to celebrate Jesus' birth. Eat great food. Spend time with family. Eat more food. Spend time with friends. Did I mention food? Yes, you did. Okay, good, just making sure. It's also a time when everyone gets extremely busy. Yeah. So making a plan and, and knowing how you're gonna celebrate Christmas is important so you don't get lost in all the- Food. Are you hungry or something? Always. All right. During Christmas, you can get lost in everything that's going on and, and forget what's really important. Don't say it. Yeah, I wasn't gonna. I was thinking it though. Of course you were. So today, we have a special guest who knows all about making plans. Oh, I didn't know we were gonna have a guest. Okay, let me guess. Can I guess? I'm gonna guess, okay? Let yeah, me guess? Can, can I guess? guess. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna guess. Okay, guess. Give me a hint. <laughs> okay, um, uh, he wears a funny hat. Um, and his clothes are, are very distinct and noticeable. Okay, that could be a football player or an astronaut. More clues, more clues. Uh, okay. Uh, he has a little helper. He, uh, oh, he, he travels the entire globe for his job. Uh, astronaut still works. Okay, another clue, another clue. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, he has a beard. Uh, and, and his belly kind of shakes when he laughs, which is often. What? Man, I have no idea who you're... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, is, is making plans kind of like making a list? I guess so, sure. Beard, belly that shakes when he laughs, hat and very distinct clothes, he travels the world, has a little helper, and makes a list? <laughs> I think I figured it out, but there's just no way you could've, you, you couldn't have, you, you couldn't have. I could. Well, well, what are we waiting for? Let's do this. All right, please welcome someone who knows stuff. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Leonard. <laughs> that's my name. At least that's what my mama told me. <laughs> Leonard. It is, it is me, right? It's not somebody else. I didn't turn into somebody else, did I? That'd be terrible. Unless it was that guy that drives a Samboni around at hockey games. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> no, it, it's you. Well, welcome to the show. What's wrong with him? Is he okay? It looks like he was expecting somebody else. And I know that look happens every time I walk in the gym. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's fine. We were just we were just playing a game. Can you can you tell everyone who you are and what you know? Oh yeah, <clears throat> I am Leonard Fortescue, and I am a professional metal detectorist. I travel the world using my little friend Camilla here to find anything that was lost. That can go from treasure to somebody's dentures and anything in between. <laughs> I even found a wig once. <laughs> Even though that was an accident, I thought it was a squirrel. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> so Camilla is your little helper? Yeah, yeah, I couldn't do it without her. I mean, I guess I could like wave my hands over the ground and like make beeping sounds. Like, uh -huh. beep, 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 beep. <laughs> but uh, that wouldn't do much good, would it? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you told me that you were good at making plans. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you gotta be. Well, you know, when you're a professional metal detectorist, as I am, you, you gotta keep up with the ocean's tides, you gotta file permits and obtain permissions, because if you don't, you either end up all wet or bit by a dog. <laughs> and neither is a good way to start the morning, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't think it was. And you know, and Christmas is the worst time to be feeling overwhelmed because everyone is going in more directions than a 10-legged man at a tap dancing convention. <laughs> Which reminds me, I, I got you both gifts. Oh, yeah, yeah, here you go. That's just for you. Yep, and this one is yours. All right, thank you. Yeah. So you didn't have to do that. Oh, I know, but I did it anyway. Go ahead and open them up. 
Oh, they're planners. Yeah, I, I know they're a bit retro, but I, I find when you actually write things down and know that there is a plan, when things go sideways, and they will, it, it tends to make things not be so hectic. You can almost uh, have a piece about it. My, mine's already filled in. Oh, oh yeah, actually Camilla found yours on a beach. It's from 1967 and it belonged to a guy named Robert Englewood. So you can either do two things. You can erase it all or just do what he did, which is what I suggest because he did a bunch of fun stuff. Look at here. In July, he actually went skydiving. And the calendar becomes empty after that so you can just do whatever you want to do. <laughs> well, I guess I got to get going. I got a lot more presents to deliver. Oh. So I'll see you guys on the flop side. <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas to all and to all. See you later. <laughs> Let's see ya, Leonard. <laughs> Does Leonard remind you of someone? No. Why? I just, cause it, you know. <laughs> Never mind. It's Bible story time! Hey guys, you know what Leonard said helps connect us perfectly to today's Bible story. Really? Which part? The part about how having a plan can help bring you peace. Awesome! Then take it away. Today, we have the story of a girl named Mary and how she dealt with finding out about a pretty incredible plan. You can read this story yourself in the book of Luke. But hundreds and hundreds of years before Luke, God chose one family, the Israelites, and promised to bless the whole world through them. Time after time, the Israelites turned away from God, but God still had a plan to send a savior, which is where our story picks up. Mary was a teenage girl living in Nazareth. She was engaged to a guy named Joseph, who was a carpenter there. Things were going pretty well for Mary. But her happiness was about to be put to the test because God had a message especially for Mary. And God sent that message through an angel. The angel's name was Gabriel, and his appearance obviously took Mary a little bit by surprise. But Gabriel told her not to be afraid. No, no, no! Gabriel said, God is very pleased with you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high God. When Mary heard that, you'd probably expect she'd be like, What? <laughs> and maybe she was. But the angel told her a little of God's plan. He said, the Holy Spirit will come to you. The power of the Most High God will cover you. So the Holy One that is born will be called the Son of God. I know, mind blowing. <laughs> then Gabriel told Mary about one of her relatives, Elizabeth, and how God promised to give her a child even though she seemed too old. But Elizabeth was pregnant because what God says will always come true. So Mary said, I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. It's like she took a deep breath and decided to trust God and dive in. After that, Mary took off to visit her relative, Elizabeth. And when Mary got to Elizabeth's home, the baby inside of Elizabeth jumped at the sound of Mary's voice. Elizabeth knew immediately that the child Mary was carrying was the son of God, and that he was going to be the one God sent to save the world. Mary knew it too, because she said, he has done it just as he promised to our people of long ago. Now that's a plan worth celebrating. God's plan to send a savior was in full force, and Mary knew it. And even though she didn't know what every detail of the plan would look like, she was ready to follow it. Wow, way to go, Mary. You know, it's sometimes hard for me to follow the plan for picking out clothes in the morning. Yeah, yeah, we know. <laughs> God has a plan for all of our lives. And when things get crazy, wild, and out of control, knowing God has a plan can give us peace, just like Mary had. Thanks. Yeah. Anytime. Speaking of time, 
it's time for me to go find some Christmas cookies. Oh. Oh, stay away from the dummy cookies. I think it's time for us to <gasps> reveal the, the question. question. What are your plans this Christmas? Hmm. Do you have any yet? Oh yeah, our family has several Christmas traditions that we plan for every year. We decorate the tree together, my father gets electrocuted every year, and we always read the Christmas story on Christmas Eve, which is one of my favorite parts of Christmas. Hmm. What about you? Uh, well, we always go to see one of those, um, uh, the living nativities. Oh yeah. You know, where they act out the Christmas story yeah. live, like with real animals. Uh -huh. That's one of the things I look forward to most every year. I love those yeah, too. You know what? So I'm funny. gonna write that down. Oh yeah, you do that. Uh -huh. I think that's all we've got for today's show. We'll see you next week for more brand new Christmas shenanigans. Uh -huh. That is October. That's right, because I wanna make sure I get there early. Please Woody! <laughs> Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Wait, whoa, whoa, I'm caught up Hold in on. here. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Credits. Merry Christmas. Credits. That's the very, uh. that's the very end of the credits. Yes, come on. Put that at the very end, Tim. <laughs> <laughs>